At first, you think it's your imagination. The moon looks a little bigger tonight. The next night, it's closer again. <laughs> By the end of the week, it fills half the sky. People call it beautiful. Cameras can't stop clicking, poets start writing. But scientists? They're panicking. Because if the moon is getting closer every night, we're not heading into a full moon. We're heading into full disaster. What if the moon really was moving closer to Earth? Let's find out before it gets too close. Let's be clear. The moon is already moving, but slowly. Right now, it's drifting away from Earth at about 3.8 centimeters per year. But in this scenario, something changes. Maybe a rogue planet passes by. Maybe gravity gets glitchy. Maybe something up there pulls it toward us. And the moon doesn't just move closer once. It keeps getting closer every single night. At first it's beautiful, then it's terrifying. The moon controls Earth's tides. Its gravity pulls on the oceans. When the moon moves closer, tides get higher, way higher. At first beaches disappear, then docks and coastlines flood, then entire cities. New York, gone. Tokyo, underwater. Venice, already packing. Tide levels rise meters higher than normal. Low tide becomes high tide. And high tide becomes game over. Fishing industries collapse. Sea walls fail. And floods become daily events. It's not just the water. The moon also pulls on Earth's crust. As it gets closer, the land begins to stretch. Earthquakes increase around the globe. Some areas shake every few hours. Volcanoes erupt without warning as the crust shifts and rips open. Hot lava meets rising floodwaters. Boom. Steam explosions across entire coastlines. It's like Earth is tearing itself apart from the outside in. The moon is now enormous in the sky. Day or night, it's visible. It glows brighter than anything except the sun. No more stars, just moon. It reflects so much light that nighttime disappears. Animals that hunt in the dark get confused. Owls go blind, bats disappear, coral reefs stop spawning. Werewolves? Let's just say they're having a rough week. Sleep? Impossible. It's like the moon brought eternal insomnia. Satellites? Destroyed. The moon's growing gravity pulls them off course. Communication, GPS, internet. Gone. Space stations drift. Tidal forces increase. Even Earth's rotation begins to change. Days grow shorter. Nights disappear. And the planet starts wobbling on its axis. This isn't just a moon problem anymore. It's a planetary problem. Brighter nights is equal to no more street lights. Energy bills drop. High tides bring dolphins into city parks. You can take selfies with the moon. No zoom required. The moon might finally crush that noisy neighbor's house. But don't get too excited. <laughs> because here comes the final act. Eventually the moon gets too close. So close that Earth's gravity rips it apart. It shatters into giant chunks, a new ring system, like Saturn's. A global meteor shower begins. Each impact stronger than a nuclear bomb. Cities vanish. The oceans boil. The skies darken for years. It's not a pretty ring. It's a grave marker. The moon seems peaceful, but it's also powerful. It balances life on Earth in ways we barely understand. If it ever came closer, even a little, Earth wouldn't be Earth anymore. It would be something else. Something wetter, hotter, <laughs> louder, and very, very short-lived. So next time you look up and see the moon a little bigger than usual, don't panic. Unless it's bigger tomorrow, too. Then you should run and take a life jacket.